Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today I'm continuing my 2021 year-end top 10s as we will discuss, I'm going to discuss the number two featherweight in the world right now, in my opinion, the, um, at 126 pounds, the reigning WBC featherweight champion, Gary Russell Jr. Now, Gary Russell was coming into 2021, coming off of a 2020 where, again, he only fought one time, and it was early on. It was in February. He took on undefeated mandatory number one contender, Tutsko Nayambayar from uh, Mongolia. And, he, you know, he dominated uh, for most of the fight. Uh, you know, Nayambayar got into the fight late, but it was a clean one-sided decision. And Gary Russell, um, you know, walked away with another win. He was trying to move up and fight Gervonta Davis and make big fights happen. And again, nothing came to fruition as Russell just refuses to fight. Well, 2021, he was ordered to fight Ray Vargas. And I thought they were going to lock horns at some point And the fight never happened. And Gary Russell ended up not fighting at all in 2021. So he does have his next fight scheduled. Um, let's look at his stats real quick, though. So Gary Russell now is 33 years old he was the previous number one he drops one spot to number two the only reason i even ranked him is because his next fight is scheduled if his next fight wouldn't have been scheduled he'd be dropped out of the top 10 right now um but because it is i uh i put him on you know back in the top 10 for the moment and um he will return saturday january 22nd against um undefeated Mark Maxayo. Now, he is 31-1, and 18 knockouts is Gary Russell, and he's looking to um, beat another mandatory challenger in Maxayo, who's coming off of a big knockout win over Julio Ceja. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this one. It's going to be interesting to see if Gary Russell is going to be threatened by Maxayo. Personally, I think he's going to box his way through this one, shake off the ring rust, and walk away with a clean decision. Um, I think if it's the best Gary Russell, he can stop Max Ayo in the late rounds. But we don't know. Maybe Max is going to push him to the limit. Maybe Russell's taking a step back. We don't know. What I do know is Ray Vargas seems to be waiting in the wings. So Gary Russell better be ready to fight. Because if he's not, I think he's going to have his title stripped. If he gets by Max Ayo, I don't think this year he's going to be able to get away with the one, the one and done fighting once a year. I don't think he's going to be able to get away with it. I think the WBC is going to enforce him to fight Ray Vargas next. And if he doesn't, I think he's going to get stripped of the title. And I really hope something happens. Either he fights twice a year, two, three times this year, um, at least twice, or he retires or he moves up in weight. But something's got to fucking give already. I am sick and tired of Gary Russell, to be honest. I, I appreciate his talent. I think he's very good. I think he has the potential of being the best fighter at 126. And, you know, I, I, I would love to see him unify belts. But all this shit talking, he's been champion since 2015. And he's fought once a year outside of 2021 where he didn't fight at all. And it's just annoying because he is a talented fighter. His lone defeat was to Vasily Lomachenko, you know, in 2014. And since then, he's been undefeated. He's got some nice wins on his resume, but he will not stay active. And it's just, it's annoying already. I did, and because there's guys that are waiting that want title shots, and there's a lot of PBC guys and a lot to choose from, I think he needs to put up or shut up finally. And maybe this will be a setup to a Leo Santa Cruz fight. Santa Cruz is fighting in February. And um, and should get a win there. He hasn't fought in, a, in what will be, a, you know, close to a year and a half by that point. But he has a mandatory defense due against the winner of the WBA regular championship fight between Michael Conlon and Lee Wood. And if Santa Cruz gets through those two fights and Gary Russell gets through Maxayo and then Ray Vargas, I think we could see by the end of the year or early next year, we could see Russell and Santa Cruz finally to unify belts at 126, but will Gary Russell stay busy and will he fight these guys? That's a big question. And again, I think he's going to have to, and you know what? I think he'll make decent money if he fights Ray Vargas, you know, if he fights Leo Santa Cruz. Yes, they're risky fights, but that's what you want. He's been calling out 
everybody and doesn't get the fights that he wants because he's being too picky and only wants big major fights but he doesn't want to go and earn those fights even more so you know i'm really tired of gary russell i really hope he steps it up puts up or shuts up but one or the other i want to see some activity from him but we'll see what happens he's he's returning saturday january 22nd against mark maxio in the main event uh, of a showtime card so that is my number two featherweight at 126 pound for my 2021 year-end top tens the wbc champion gary russell jr i hope you guys enjoyed it true boxing you've been here with the truth